guilty by association. You know, when you hear those words, it's like, oh, it's bad, but it could be good, right? Because, you know, we've all heard, you know, you're, you're the combined average of the five people that you hang around, you know, their spirituality, their, their finances, their career, their mindset, their emotions, all of that, fit, their physical fitness or lack of whatever, right? And, but we're all guilty by association, whether it's bad or it's good, right? And, and so, you know, for those of us that are in business for ourselves, I think it's really, really important that you do a little checking up on the people that you're getting into business with, where you're getting to a partnership or you're doing some big promotion with somebody, check them out. I think it's important that you do that because you're always guilty by association. But also on the flip side, on the positive side, you know, there's people out there obviously that, you know, that have had more success than us. So I think it's important that we're, if we're associated with them, we're also guilty of success because we're associated with them and we're guilty of high performance and we're guilty of thinking bigger. And so I think that, um, I just kind of want to do a play on words there that associations are so powerful and environments are so powerful. And so I just, this is just a friendly reminder of something that you already know, but check your list, check your database. Who is it that you're hanging out with the most, with the most with right now? And are you, are there some relationships that you have right now, whether in business or personally that, really aren't serving you anymore. You know, maybe they're you know, the people that some of the people that you're hanging around are, are basically, we call them BNI batteries, not included, or are they, are they, here's what that means. Okay. You remember when you're a little and you got a toy and it, it, it had batteries included in it, you can literally open it up and start playing with it right away. Right. But then there are some toys where, you know, you got it and it says batteries not included. It's just like, oh, I can't even play. You got to go to the store. You got to get batteries, all of that. And so it's kind of like the same as takers and givers, right? And so people that are not batteries included, right? They're like takers. They don't have any energy. They kind of sap the energy out of you. They don't really add anything to your life. And I'm not talking about, I'm not trying to be like a naysayer right now on those people, but we all know what we're talking about, right? Then are those people that have the batteries are included. They charge you up, you know, they're funny or they're very interesting and they, 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 they just add value to your life. And, but I think the key thing also is to add value to other people's lives, right? But on your trajectory for success and your arc to success, I think it's important to really monitor, you know, quarterly or every six months, who is it that you're hanging out with and who could you limit your associations with and who could you advance and be more associated with and be guilty by association in the right way for success and for uh, your finances, your, your physicality, uh, your spirituality, all those types of things. So just a friendly reminder, and I hope this helps you arrive at your next intended destination healthy, wealthy, and happy.